All right, then, let's get started. I promise this presentation won't be boring. In fact, it might be one of the best you've seen all year. A little bit about my background. I'm the founder and CEO of Citizen. I've been doing consumer digital health for about 30 years. Uh, had a failure, took a company public, had three successful exits, and most recently, Apple acquired Glimpse for its PHR, or personal health records business. And while inside, I served as a um, director of consumer health strategy and the engineering director for Apple Health Records, which is the product uh, my team spec'd and built and released in 2018. While I was in Cupertino, I got the call from home that my little sister, Tanya, who uh, had been suffering from late stage metastatic breast cancer, Hopkins called and told me she has two weeks to live. Her big brother basically said, well, F that. And I went to Jeff, who's the COO at Apple, got Tim to release my handcuffs. And we bought Tanya another five and a half months of life, but she eventually died on 9-11 of 2017. I took this photo at the beginning of her life. It's a Polaroid. She was my little sister. I was her surrogate father. Unfortunately, I also took this picture at Sons Hopkins where she is four days end of life. Before she died, she made me promise that I would do everything in my power to help kill cancer in this lifetime and citizen is my response. So what is it? It's a personal health record specifically built around the needs of cancer patients, autoimmune disease, and neurological diseases that are therapeutic areas we are concentrating on. So we do three things. We allow patient to give us authority to go fetch all their records and not just the piddly stuff on the patient portal or the fire API. We get 100% of it. We get imaging and we get genomic. We're going to show you. We turn the documents that we receive into data and make no mistake, documents aren't data any more than crude oil is 93 octane. We are a data refinery. We are the ExxonMobil of that business. Why documents? These are purposely blurred out because we are obfuscating PHI. This is where all the information is. It's in the findings paragraph on a imaging report that Tanya Sethi has six metastases on the right lobe of the liver. That's not on the portal and certainly isn't in the current FHIR API. So we've got to go where the clinical data is. This is again blurred out, but we turn this into this. This is structured information. It's got the types of radiation, surgery, ECOG scores, histological subtypes. Not only is this now structured, but it's also computable. We'll show you in a second. You could also just build a timeline for a patient to share with their oncologist. And this is beginning to happen even though we're in stealth one of our Board members the other day said, look, I could see other companies being known for something. Facebook, social, Apple, mobile, uh, commerce, e-commerce, my Amazon, searches Google, and we will be known for health. That is where we're heading. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to my colleague for the first demo. Take it away. To get started, I'm logging in with my username and password, which I set up when I created my account. Citizen makes it easy for me to leverage my patient right of access under HIPAA to collect all of my records. As you can see, here I get access to far more than what my patient portal provides me. This is my entire medical record from John Hopkins, all 2300 pages. I also get information about my genomics and genetic information from places like Foundation Medicine, a genomic testing lab. Citizen makes sure I have all of my information including my x-rays, CTs, and other imaging studies. For any of this information, I can choose to view it, but I can also download it or share it with whomever I'd please. But the real magic happens in the cancer summary. Here, Citizen takes these thousands of pages of records about my care and neatly summarizes them to surface the most important information for me and my doctor as I continue to receive treatment. With the cancer summary, my doctor can easily see what's happening with my care. And for any of this information, 
She can even go all the way down to the original medical record where it was pulled out from. Fareed, thanks for that. Picking back up, I just want to touch on two points. We've got three areas that there are noise in the marketplace. The two points are in the first sort of column, you see my former company, the Apple logo. Here's what I'm concerned about. The Apple Health Records connects to a fire endpoint that's in front of Epic or Cerner or Meditech. Yet, there is no Epic or Cerner or Meditech in China, India, or Sub-Saharan Africa. So their approach begs the question, where's the global strategy? Where we know that if you've got something in India and you can, computer system, and you can just uh, print a PDF and send it to Tanya at citizen.com, we'll take care of it. The other thing that um, we have recognized is that while Flatiron produced incredibly good quality data, they did it through using humans, and humans don't scale. So Amy Abernathy and others have commented that Flatiron was humans augmented by machines, and Citizen is machines augmented by humans. One scales, the other doesn't. Uh, let's assume this is a cancer summary. We put all of the extracted clinical data for a human to read. You can see histological subtypes, genomics reports, cancer antigen, lab results. But we also put in the SNOMED, Rx, Norm, LOINC codes and other code sets. And here I'd like to pass it to Devon to talk about patient privacy and how we are achieving what we are achieving. Citizen puts our users, the patient, in control of their health data. Here's our commitment to our users. We do not share your health information with any third party, either identifiable or in anonymized or de-identified form, without your consent. For more details on this, please see our privacy policy at that link. These commitments that we make in our privacy policy can be legally enforced against us by the Federal Trade Commission. We are also covered by the California Confidentiality of Medical Information Act, otherwise known as California's version of HIPAA, and this applies to all of our users, not just those who live in California, and we also have breach notification obligations under HITECH. We have adopted industry standard security safeguards, including encryption, and we have chosen to use a leading cloud services provider, Amazon Web Services, their HIPAA compliant cloud in particular to store our users' personal information. Devin, thanks so much. Let me pick up from here and show a final demo. A patient's cancer history has been captured by the Citizen platform. Here in the review tool, we can see the patient's diagnosis, disease progression status, biomarkers, and prior lines of treatment all carefully structured. That patient ID is now pasted into our clinical trial matching software and now the system is evaluating every clinical trial selection parameter for every trial in the database for that patient. In a matter of seconds, the system returns a set of potential matches. By removing the non-matched trials, we can readily see that the patient is a match to many trials at different match strengths. That information is now conveyed into a clinical trial match report that the patient can print and take with them to the next doctor's appointment. This includes information about each of the trials that they're eligible for, including who the sponsors are, the recruitment status, therapy categories, uh, as well as specific locations that may be suitable uh, within their travel preferences. So now that we've seen that demo, ah, what did you see? You saw patient release of documents. The documents go through a data refinery. The data refinery outputs both text and coded summaries. The summaries are then run as SQL queries against the metastatic breast cancer uh, clinical trial database that we have, and matches are made at a very fine grain level. But all of that that we've talked about is what I call blah, blah, blah. It's intellectual. It's interesting. Silicon Valley is jumping all over it. But at the end of the day, let's not forget why we do this work and whom we work for. Thanks for your time.